everyone. I am the smartest English detective in the world. If you have troubles in English, I can definitely help you. Hi, English detective. Nice to meet you. I am having a great trouble now. I don't understand the differences between simple present tense and present con. Present continuous tense. Yes, that's it. Whenever I do my English homework, it is all wrong. Can I have a look at your homework? Here it is. The question asks, what is he doing? Then I answered, he reads. But it was wrong. After that, I tried again and answered, he is read. But it was wrong too. I was so confused. Ha ha. Luckily, you meet me. Let me teach you the differences between simple present and present continuous tense. Present continuous tense talks about things that are happening now, not something happening before or in the future. Its structure is like a hamburger. The first part is a verb to be. That means is, am, are. Then the middle part is a verb. That means the action word. The last part is the uh, add the ing form. We can usually see some hints words to like now, right now, or at the moment. So do you know why all of your previous answers were wrong? Oh, I have a better understanding now. My answer should be he is reading. Am I correct? Yes. How about this one? What is she doing? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. She is skipping. Sorry, you are wrong. The answer should be she is skipping. S K I P P I N G. You should double the last consonant P because skip is a verb that ends with a short vowel. Add a e O, ah, and a consonant. Can you think of some other examples that we have to double the last consonant when we are using present continuous tense? Hmm, let me think about it. The verb of swim. I am swimming. S W I M M I N G. Well done. You're talented. Look at this answer. They are riding. Oh my gosh! What's wrong with this? I used the structure of hamburger in finishing the present continuant tense. Yes, the structure is correct, but the spelling of the verb plus ing is wrong. It should be spelled as riding, R-I-D-I-N-G. We should take away the E, then add ing when a verb ends with a short vowel. Since you're talented, can you think of some other examples that we have to take away the E and add ing when we are using present continuous tense? I can think of the verb hike. We are hiking. H-I-K-I-N-G. Am I correct, English detective? Excellent. To let you remember better, I can teach you my secret present continuous tense song. Hiking, hiking, how to spell? Please spell after me. Drop the E I N G. Drop the E I N G. Drop the E I N G H I K I N G. Hiking. Is there any more? Yes, of course. Swimming, swimming, how to spell? Please spell after me. Double plus I N G. Double plus. I N G double plus I N G S W I M M I N G swimming. Well, I can remember the rules of present continuant tense better now, but I may still mix it up with present simple present tense. Can you explain more about the use of pres simple present tense? Sure. Simple present tense is, the, is used to talk about habits or facts. We often see some hints words to alike, always, usually, seldom, every, etc. With most of the verbs for subject pronouns, he, she, it. We just simply add s, es, and ies behind them. For example, we can say, he always eats dinner at 6 o'clock to talk about a person's habit. Also, we can say the sun rises from the east to talk about the facts or truths. Oh, I have a better understanding now. In other words, for verbs that are used after subject pronouns, 
I, you, we, they, we just keep them as the same. No change to the verbs at all. Whoa, how come you so clever? Haha, ha, I know it because I... Ha ha ha. Students, do you have a better understanding on the differences between present and present continuous tense now? Check your understanding by answering the following questions. Number one, which tense do we use to talk about habits and facts? Number two, which tense do we use to talk about something happening now?